Welcome back guys to another video on Soulstorm. I have some good news. They finally released patch 1.08 and you can pop you can get platinum now. All the I'm not saying they're fixed hundred percent, but people gamers we're popping the trophies now, so you can get platinum now. So fingers crossed this is all gonna work out. Yeah, there we go. 1.08 just been released. I think it was today, 28th for the 4th. It certainly was not in my download yesterday. So yeah, I think it's today. So 1.08 guys, you can get the badges, trophies now and a few other ones that will sometimes bug out. Now you want to make sure you're normal for this level because it's got another badge where you need to spend a certain amount of mullah. Yeah, so make sure you're normal guys. And these lockers here, they're locked, you don't have that key yet. And by the way, all they contain is fizzy pow. That, um, no, sorry, sticky. Yeah, the sticky version. Yeah, that's what they contain. Sticky Fizzy Pop. Well, it's Fizzy Pow, as it's called. Yeah, so this is... There's a badge for crafting 27 items, but it gets really, really close. And I don't actually have enough here, because I've just been really unlucky with the drops. And I don't know what's going on. It just keeps interacting with that door. Even though, no matter how far away I get, he interacts with it. You can imagine me at the end of the map and... Uh, Interacting with a trash bin and they warping through this door still. Look, the interaction point is still there in that door. I'm trying to interrupt this trash bin. This is how buggy the game is sometimes. It's getting better though. It is getting better. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So you take that brew from a vending machine. Resources do get really tight on this level. So try not to use things. I'm going to explain as we go along what you need to use and what you need to sort of hoard. So just try and bear that in mind. Now this bit's very very tricky. You need to do this because if you do not get these lockers, you will not get enough lockers to completely lock a badge. So it's very tricky. Basically, I do the top one first because it's the hardest part. And the ones on the bottom, careful there's two bombs there that you need to deactivate and they're a bit harder to deactivate on normal. These ones at the top, you only get chance to loot one thing at a time, but you literally have to get straight up onto that platform as soon as the sort of they're sort of sensor fields aren't they? They're like sensor beams. You have to get up on the platform as soon as they start passing back in order to loot one thing in time so it gives you time to jump off. You can move at normal speed but once you get past the last lockers you need to start sneaking because there is a slick right below me. Can you see him asleep? Yes, so make sure you sneak once you get past that bit with the laser fields. There's a slick here, still sneaking. Don't want to alert him. As you can see, there's a slick spawner at the top there, and that's a flying one. You do not want to activate that. So, you want to try and loot the slicks where you can, but I'm getting really unlucky with drops. I'm not sure if it's because it's on normal, but I did actually do this on my practice run. Yeah, just before this on another account, I did do it then on normal so I'm just being really unlucky with drops so yeah if you're really unlucky you'll not get crafted guys obviously we're killing all the slicks there's 32 on here we want to kill them uh, sorry we're not killing the slicks I've gotten confused with the muds it's hard to separate them now because I'm killing the muds it's hard to differentiate them between them because uh, you normally save the muds but I'm killing them so at the moment everything is my enemy but we're not killing the slicks. Here, yes, obviously watch out for the alarm beams because, yes, if you do walk in one, it will spawn the flying slicks like that. But yeah, make sure they're set on aggressive. I actually had them set on peaceful by mistake, but luckily I realised the error of my ways quick enough, put them back to aggressive, and uh, the one that's tied up got a shot when the slick was trying to kill another. So yeah, you do that, spawn them, and if you don't want to spawn the flying slick, just you can bring them muds back down here with you, buy everything from these vendors. You will get plenty of money here, by the way. The problem is, like I said before, on EC, the items don't cost enough. That's why you need to play normal to meet the requirement. Now, I do get a slick killed here, so I restart, but the trophy pops here, the Chi Master Trophy. Yeah, so... As you can see, you don't get much crafting 
So just craft whenever you can craft some it, craft it guys. But here, yes, that's that's all I had to possess, a rocket launcher one. And with this one, as soon as you leave it, it will die automatically. So you need to make sure you do this first time, because each time you do this, you're gonna be killing a slig every time. So there's a few deaths on this you cannot avoid, slig deaths. So you wanna try and do this first time. Yeah, because you got killed, I just reloaded checkpoint. So first time, make sure you get him through the laser field. And through there. Yeah, with your brew, Try to, I can't remember if it's this chapter, this level, or the next one. Yeah, I think it's the next chapter. You need to save Brew. But yeah, come down here. Yeah, I had to do a little cut there. So you've got a minigun sig just below you. But if you get his attention, he should. you can see that pole in the background. Pull that lever to open the door and he'll climb up to you. And then you can sort of knock him out and loot him. Yeah, you're looting the enemies just in hope that you're going to get something good. I don't think get tape on this level, actually. I mean, we did get that tape at the start. I was just lucky. I don't normally get tape on this one. You get lots of lighters, but nothing to use them on. I guess maybe there's like a really... For somebody really lucky, maybe there's a chance you can get something to use a lighter with. Not me, though. Royal Jelly there, guys. I'm just going to press that to close that door. Just make sure you don't follow me and shoot me from that ledge. So the ones in the background, they're sort of blocking the gunfire. But watch out when you have to jump over. Checkpoint here. Now that's the good buff. And the ones in the background, if you come down and sort of jump like that, you can sort of avoid their fire. So when you're running down, they're shooting. Keep double jumping when they fire. Don't double jump until they're firing. Just wait from fire, then double jump, and normally you'll miss some of the bullets. That's quite difficult when you're trying to rescue the muds, because then you have to sort of kill them because the muds get killed. So I'm looting these trash bins, uh, sorry dumpsters, always try and see if I can craft something. Yeah, that's it, sticky, fizzy pal, do not use it guys, yeah, make sure you loot that vendor machine. Yeah, do not use sticky, fizzy pal, we're going to need it later for killing certain muds. There's, there's some muds where there's no means to kill them basically, and that's where the sticky, fizzy pal will come in handy, so do not use that, and alternatively, Fizzy Powell does a trick as well, but it's sticky. The sticky version will kill him in one hit, but the uh, the normal Fizzy pal not the pop, the pal guys, one that explodes. Well, they both explode, but one that can destroy grates. Yeah, so there's a royal jelly there. Make sure you get that. You come over here. Yeah, that's the below us. He gets killed as well. It's unavoidable. Unavoidable. You cannot avoid it. So you need to put them muds on them pressure plates, so you can come up here and press that one. Watch the laser field, come down, there's two lockers there. Don't miss lockers, there's only a few more lockers than what you need I think. So yeah, be careful, you don't miss any. Trash bin, and a box. I'm breaking these boxes because they contain empty bottles and they sell for a bit. Just in case you're getting really unlucky with mula from lockers and stuff, them empty bottles may come in handy. So two lockers, more crates, smash them, some more empty bottles. You think it'd smash the empty bottles as well, but no. Just a shitty packaging. They're unbreakable bottles. So some more lockers. A recycling station. And yes, I avoided that checkpoint so I could hit it last. So if I die, I can just respawn them without having to loot them. Lockers again. Trash bin, yes. Right, I don't know what that guy at the back doing, he's trying to run towards the screen. Right, you guys, hold on there, I'm just doing up my shoelace. One minute. <laughs> Thank God they're fucking done. Yeah, so you have to spend 40 mullah there. And there's another one you spend 50 mullah on. So there's two lockers there. Yes, yeah, two of them keys, them locks, where you have to spend 40 mullah and another one to spend 50. So that's 90. And the other 40 comes from a, a uh, vendor, vendor machines. Classic refresher, be wise, know your basics, of course. So yeah, you have to take this top half first. Yeah, I'm going to leave that checkpoint until I come back. So I'm going to recruit these guys, and then they can help me open these lockers. Teamwork, all about teamwork. So no I in teamwork. But there is an M, M and an E. Right, we're going to let them 
Get that little grinder, dude. Yeah, there they are. Just leave them there. And then come down the lift. And we can pass down below now. Wow. Yeah, watch for that. Yes, I died. I admit it. I'm not ashamed to admit defeat. So watch these mines. Yeah, you can deactivate them if you want. But what's the point? Just jump over them. Some more crates. So you know what that means. Bottles that are empty. Half empty, half full. No, completely empty. Completely not full. Yeah, watch these. And up there, secret area. No, sorry, it's not a secret area. It should be one. But there you have a royal jelly. And two crates and another single crate. Up here, secret area. Found. I don't know why that one's easier to find than that one we just found with the royal jelly. So these guys... Yeah, you got a lot of blades, grinders, but you can't activate them unless it's just some sort of hidden easter egg, which I can't find. But there's... You're free! Not for long! Don't tell him. Right, there's one down here. I think there's six in here to rescue. We're free! We're free! Yeah, we'll see. And there's one more up here. So happy. I will say I feel a bit sad doing this, can I? But I'm not. There... It's just nice seeing the happiness just for a moment, even if it's just for a moment, you know? Just hold on there, guys. And look at this sticky fizzy pal. Yeah, fizzy pal, it takes a few hits, but sticky, a normal fizzy pal takes a few hits, but sticky will kill him in one. Like that. And six Maducons turned into 60 then. That's they all separated into many pieces. So down here now, yes, do not use, use that sticky pal, we need to keep that for killing them, like so. Got some gummy, some fizzy pop, and a recycling station. I've not seen any of them in this level yet. Alright, so can I craft anything? Not much. I'm so unlucky with drops. I've, I've not been this unlucky before on crafting stuff, I've always done crafting. First time. Always. Always. Yes, I've definitely always done it first time. I remember correctly. I do remember that. And I just can't believe. I'm actually quite far off. I think I do 21 out of 27. So, I don't know what happened. Obviously, karma's coming back to haunt me. So, dumps this. Empty bottle. Yeah, I'm just not getting anything. I'm not. Maybe it's a bug. Yes, definitely a bug. Maybe it's a bug, because I'm just not getting much when I'm looting. Little cut there, guys. Yeah, so watch this. And we're going to head into the locker room below. No, that one's already open. A, B. Get that one on the left. Then let's go over here. Oh, I've got a brew bottle from that locker. Look, Mulla. Obviously, more brew bottles, I guess. So I've already got max. What's in this one? Let me see. Just Mulla. I'm not getting anything else. I'm just getting brew and Mulla. So carefully make your way down. You need to go down there. So some lockers, some crates, in case you need the empty bottles. The bottles that have no matter inside. Right, let's loot these lockers, boys. Right, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Right, so I need to make my way across. They will follow. Oh, upsy daisy. Oh, he almost came back around. See that? He almost survived. Oh, I don't think he did. Right, you wait there. Wait there, you need to make sure the machine's moving up and down correctly. Oh, no, okay. You can die down here, my friend. Detergent. We can craft smoke bomb with that. Right, you can help me craft... Um, craft... Craft a locker, loot some lockers. Full, brew again. And brew again, brew and muller. I'm just getting things which I don't need. Well, I've done 30 out of 40 lockers, so there's not many more to loot. So anything else to craft? Nope. Bollocks. Right, let's see. Keep up with me, man. My man. Always going to be one speed here. My speed. So keep up or keep dead. He kept dead. I don't blame him. He's had a tough life. Two lockers. Muller? No brew. Oh, brew again, of course. I'm getting... I'm not getting anything, am I? Drop white. Um, 
from dumpsters. Dumpsters and lockers, they're not giving me much. So you should be on 118 Muller. If you're not on 118, then you haven't bought everything from a certain vendor. You already down the mines now? There's got to be some treasures down here, surely. Plenty of brew. Trying to craft that rare terrium, unobtainium. Many different materials in Oddworld. They're all special ingredients of brew. The favourite, the nicest, most delicious drink in the world. The only downside is, it will kill you if you don't drink it within a few days. That's not a spoiler. You did see that in the last bit. Would you still drink it though? It's so nice. Knowing that if you don't drink it for a few days, you could die. Just to experience the taste of the brew. I think I would. The brew is so nice. Just try not to go near any naked flames when you're drinking it. Highly flammable. Secret over here. Thank, thankfully, it's on blabbering. There we go. And a royal jelly. Is that the last secret area? No, it's not. I'm going to say I couldn't believe my eyes if it was. Oh, it's someone on the tunnel. Do I need to report to the reception? No. Aid. Please report to reception. No, that's not what it sounds like. It sounds like an advertiser or something. He's selling something. Right. So, over here, be careful. Yeah, this one, they come the opposite way. And I was very close then. Right, obviously, get the timing right. This bit's quite tricky when you're trying to rescue the muds. You know, when you're trying to rescue them. But we're not going to have to rescue every single mud. Look, so that's good. Yeah, we, we won't have to every single level. But we'd have done... Yeah, so just make your way through these traps. By the way, in between the grinders, it's a little safe spot. And if you run into the side of one, it won't kill you. Yeah, you can sort of run into the side of them. There are some traps where you can run to the side of them, but once it lifts up and you touch the underneath bit, it will kill you, so... Ouch, sorry mate. Had to be done. Is that over here? Yes, this is another spot where it's a unavoidable death of a slig. And each time you unpossess him, it will kill him. So if you want to loot him, what you can do now, I didn't do it, but get them water bottles from your crafting menu. You know the ones the ones for giving items to the muds. You can take some water bottles, love water bottles at him to knock him out, and then loot him and then possess him. Don't possess him and unpossess to knock him out, because it'll kill him. You use him to press that switch, quite tricky. Obviously, if you mess it up, just respawn at checkpoint so it only counts as one kill. Down here. And yeah, this is class as another secret area. Not even a secret. And in here. Yes, this is another spot where you need sticky fizzy pal. I think this is the last spot where you need it actually. Where you need the stickiness. So climb up this ladder. Many ladders to climb up here. So watch out for the traps. Then grinders are spinning quite fast and they're sharp, so if they touch you. It may scratch you, or it could even cut you quite deep. So just be very, very careful around that. You thought they'd supply us with um, safety protection. Been in the mines and all. Should be... Indefinite, you know. But get the royal jelly. Get these four. Hold to heal. Why? Yeah, you're free. Save me. If only for a minute. Yeah. Whee! Yay, we're going to die. Don't worry, I won't leave you. <laughs> There's going to be nothing to leave, that's why, eh? You Once you've blown them to smithereens. Okay. Right, let's just get them in place. Tell them to wait, and then I'm just stealthily going to drop, yeah. just casually drop a sticky fizzy pal by their feet. I think they're sort of amazed. By what it looks like. There we go. Did I do that? Yes, I think he did, Abe. Alright, so we've got these three. So, 
These three can just die up here. The machines can do the work for me. Right, so I'm going to wait for them to catch up, or try and catch up in pieces. Right, there's a piece from here, a piece from over there, and um, a piece from in the background. I think I've killed them. So only five more left. Deep mines. Oh yeah, some more machines here. Well, recycling station. Got quite a lot of muller. 153 muller. So yeah, you do get loads of muller. I think that the way the RNG is working on my run here, it just gives me loads of muller, nothing else. Well, muller and brew. Right, the monkey boss. Yeah, I'm just seeing that. I couldn't remember anything to the left. I thought it might have been a little cute cat doll. Right, so this is going to be really fun for you. Yeah, it is. This your first playthrough? This monkey boss, it used to be worse than this, by the way. It used to be much worse. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's going to be easy. But it's, it's quite hard to explain how to grab the monkey boss properly. When you get within a certain range and you press jump, it seems to sort of auto-lock onto them. Or if you're sort of directly in line with one or press in the right direction when you drop onto it, you sort of grab it automatically. Like I'm going to press down here, there, down, right and jump, jump up, double jump to that one. And yeah, you just got to you got to be very precise with the movements on the monkey bars. You can't sort of jump away and try jump back to it. Sometimes it'll work if you can press jump at the right time. It's hard to explain, it truly is. All you can do is practice it yourself. And yeah, hopefully it won't take too long because it has been, they have patched it to make it better. Every patch, I think they're going to try and make the monkey bars a bit better. You know, a bit more intuitive and stuff to actually grab. So hopefully it won't be too bad for you. But you can see what I'm doing. You've got to sort of try and jump directly to one. If you're a little bit short, you normally miss them. It's quite annoying. Unless you press jump when you're within a certain range and you sort of auto lock onto it. It's weird how, it's just weird how the monkey bars work. Here, I just drop down like that. If you try and jump off and they double jump to one, it's, I always seem to miss. Here, yes, that jump's really weird. Basically, I'm pressing, I'm double jump, but right at the last moment. And normally that will miss, but um, here it just helps you, because you're pressing double jump at the last moment, you're just within the range of locking onto the monkey bar and that's why he seems to reach it even though you think he shouldn't there's the last vending machines I think and I believe this is when we spend 130 muller in total so we got a recycling station first let's recycle some bottles so we got a gum vendor fizzy pop and some brew yeah, so that's where we are. I've just spent 130 muller. I think I've just spent it. I know it's already ticked off. But I think you'll find I've just spent it enough. Do you, if you remember when I showed you earlier, I was on 118 out of 30. 130. So there you go. Yeah, spend is just going up now. So I've just met the requirements. Some brew. And see if I can craft anything. So it's because... I haven't got any uh, um, blast, is it blasters, the sort of plaster things? Yeah, I've got plenty of water, plenty of water, but nothing what I need to craft. But we've done the secrets, we've done the hidden jelly. Yeah, we haven't done the rescue in the muds. Yeah, I've just been really unlucky, I've not been getting any um, blast, blast drops, whatever you call them. Maybe if I looted that slig. That stick from earlier. Yeah, I did die there. Yeah, that stick from earlier when we had to use and press that switch where the grinder was going around. But I finished this with 21 out of 27 craftables done, I think. So I am quite far off. So here, yes, I'm not hit that checkpoint yet. So I just want to do all this looting first because it's quite easy to die here. You've got to be really careful with the snipers. And that guy there, he's glitched. He won't move. I reloaded save, reloaded checkpoint. I tried closing app. He just wouldn't move. So I've had to kill him with a fizzy pal. So it's lucky I had some left. But these are the last bunch of muds. So he's dead. I've hit the checkpoint. 
there's that lever there you have to pull so yeah watch this laser that one will sort of keep going left up right down right and it sort of just keep moving like that between that lever and the platform above we'll keep moving between there and there's two laces on the right here and one on the left just be careful if a laser starts shooting the muds they usually stop there and they sort of lock onto you a bit quicker so you may want to leave the muds down the bottom like I did so that bottom laser can kill them yeah that bottom laser and be very careful here them switches there's three switches on this platform they're on do not press them because they'll kill their snipers in the background see I've got Blastos now I've got Blastos now finally right at the end but it's still not enough yeah you can get by them without killing the snipers you don't need to kill them and like I say if if them top snipers shoot at the mud then what I found is they're more likely to um, lock onto me quicker but if I let the bottom sniper kill the muds it just makes it a bit easier because I'm completely out, out of the range of the bottom sniper then yeah so I'm crafting a few more things still not quite enough but I'm getting there 21 so that's it I don't get anything else because we're near enough at the end of the level and there, yeah there's one more mud there's one more right at the end here yeah it's just down this ramp checkpoint now you've got to be really careful here there's four sleeping slicks and there's that security beam so be very careful you got you should have plenty of smoke I'm sure you should have plenty of smoke but as you can see that one's quite hard to avoid uh, quite easy sorry and I'm sneaking so I don't want to wake up these guys and this middle one you can't loot him because he's in the way of the stupid door the door is taking priority but you'll see in a minute I'm actually gonna aggro them and then once they go back to calm, they go back to sleep and then you can loot him. This one, you have to be really careful. You can loot him before the security beam comes back down, but you have to be really quick. I do do it in a minute. And there's a slig just below me there. Make sure you sneak in, holding L1 when you recruit this mud. Because if not, your speech will uh, wake up the slicks. And when you hold L1, it's like a sort of buffer. It's like it turns your shouts into a whisper. So there's a slig here gonna loot him yeah got lighter there don't know why there's nothing I can make with lighter I guess he got a stun mine but we don't get the other ingredients that we need I didn't get no uh, wiring kits did I or tin cans hopefully you'll have better luck guys I, I hope you get 27 we do have to come back on it anyway to um rescue the um rescue the muds later so when you get him there put him on quiet uh, sorry not quiet stay stay then when you get over here you can make him follow you make sure you got a sneak held down otherwise you'll wake them up and the reason you could get the six to kill him but I want him to die over here because they may just knock him out they may just make more trouble so I'm just gonna kill him here on the grinder another one meets a grinder Abe uh, not Abe Midu Midokon meets grinder so I'm gonna wake them up now well I'm gonna try and loot this one above me first yeah, if you're very close, you can just get it in time. And by the way, when you open that door, they will all wake up. But they will go back to sleep when you hit calm. So if you're really quick, yeah, literally, it's, you're as quick as you can be. When it's going up, quickly get there. That's it. You can just get out of the way like that. So I'm going to press this door so it can open. So I'm going to quickly run away. That's it. I'm just going to wait now for them to go back to calm status. I don't know how far their range is because you see that when they're aiming they s if you look at their their sort of vision it stops on that big rock in the background so I'm not sure if they can actually see you if you're behind this rock just because you know the 3D of the game obviously this ramp it comes off at an angle to that where the door is right so he's not near the door now that bottom one so I can loot him I was so hopeful that I was going to get what I needed to um, craft six more items, but no way near. I've never had this happen, you know, not have enough to do the craftable badges. But I've just been so. I'm glad it's happened in a way because you've seen what can happen if you get really bad RNG. It might, maybe, maybe it's a bug. Maybe the game is fixed to give you enough. I don't know, but I'm six off miles. It's not even one. You could understand if it's one or two, but six. 
I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send a message to the team who made the game. They're gonna hear about me. No, but that's it, guys. Yeah, I did quickly go through a crafting, make sure there's nothing else I can craft, and success partially. Yeah, quite a long one, 28 minutes. And let's look at my score. So I killed three sligs. You can't avoid them. I killed all the Madokons. And they're the badges. We've done Explorer, Hidden Help, Searcher, and Spender. So when we come back in this later, we can put it on EC. And I've only got to do Saviour. Well, hopefully you have. But I've got to do spend, uh, sorry, Crafter as well. I've got to do Crafter as well. Yes, that's it, guys, for that one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.